it is used as a beam and carries a shear force of 40 kN. Calculate the ratio of average shear stress and maximum shear stress. Okay. So first of all, write down the given data. So shear force it is given. Shear stress it is given. That is S is equal to it is 40 kN. 40 kN. That is converted it is in kN to Newton. That is 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 in Newton. Okay. So then so section it is actually symmetrical about the x-axis so we'll get the x bar and y sorry y bar so it will be half of this okay 150 by 2 so it will be 175 above the neutral axis 175 mm about the neutral axis and below the neutral axis it is also 175 okay because of symmetrical section about the x-axis okay so 175 mm. so it is 150 by 2 okay so total height it is 150. 150 by 2 it is above the neutral axis 175. Below the neutral axis it is 175. Okay. Then calculate the moment of inertia now. Moment of inertia. So because of uh, symmetrical section, we don't require to apply the parallel axis. Okay. So just this consider as a box section. Okay. So this just consider this one. It is box section. This one it is box section. So I x x is equal to I x x is equal to D D Q capital capital P into capital D Q capital P into D Q divided by twelve D D Q. by 12 and minus minus small b d cube minus small b into d cube small b into d cube divided by 12 divided by 12 so capital b it is capital b is equal to it is 100 mm 100 mm capital d is equal to it is 150 mm, 150 mm. Okay, so this one it is B it is 100 mm, and depth of this uh, section it is 150 mm, and small b, small b is equal to the distance it is small b. Okay, so this width it is small b. Okay, small. B. That is means this total it is 100 minus this depth it is 10. So 100 minus 10, 100 minus 10. So it's 100 minus 10 is equal to 90 mm. 90 mm small b. Okay. Then small d it is small d is equal to small d it is overall depth it is 150. 150 minus this 10 and this 10. Okay. Which distance it is small d so this distance. Okay. So 150 minus 10 minus 10 means 150 minus 20. 150 minus 20. So it will be 130 mm. 130 mm. Put all this value in IXS equation. So x x is equal to I know, B it is capital B it is 100 into capital D it is 150 cube. 100 into 150 cube divided by 12. 100 into 150 cube divided by 12. Then minus minus now small b it is 90, 90 into 130 cube, 90 into 130 cube divided by 12, divided by 12, divided by 12, divided by 12. Okay. Put all this value here. So x is equal to, first of all, 100 into 150 cube divided by 12. It will be 28.125. and to the to the power C. Sorry, one second, I will tell you. 100 into by 
plus one. It will be twenty-eight point one two five nine seven four one thirty cube divided by twelve. So this one it is sixteen point four seven one. Sixteen point four seven seven into ten to the power into ten to the power six. I will take this one as a hundred into one fifty cap C divided by twelve. So this one it is also ten to the power. Now it is ten to the power. We will get IXS is equal to twenty eight point one two five into ten to the power six minus in point four seven seven into ten to the power six. We will get L one point six four eight. L one point six four eight into ten to the power. Okay. So I will note down this value. It will be I express is equal to L one point six four eight into ten to the power six. Okay. So now calculate shear stresses. Calculate shear stress. Shear stress, shear stress at junction, at junction between, shear stress at junction between, between, between flange and wave, wave by considering, by considering, considering. Width, width, width. B is equal to B is equal to hundred m. B is equal to hundred m. Okay. So Q one is equal to I don't Q one is equal to S A Y bar S into A into Y bar divided by I B. S into A into Y bar divided by I into B divided by I into B. I into B. Okay. Here area it is area it is hundred into hundred into ten. Okay, hundred into ten. That is hundred into ten. It will be one thousand mm square. One thousand mm. One thousand mm square. One thousand mm. So which area we have taken this year? This edge portion. So this area we have taken for the calculating the Q1 value. Okay. So now Y bar. So Y bar it is Y bar is equal to Y bar is equal to from the neutral axis to the C G of this. Okay. So first of all we must we know this distance. So this distance it is this means this distance. Okay. So this distance it is 65. 75 minus 10 it is. Sixty-five, sixty-five. So here y bar is equal to sixty-five plus ten by two. Ten drop the ten. Ten, ten by two. That is will be seventy. Seventy mm. Okay. So sixty-five plus ten by two it will be seventy. So y bar it is seventy. Put all these values here. So here it is shear force. It is forty kilometer. Forty into ten to the power three. Into area it is one thousand mm square. Then y bar it is seventy. Seventy divided by divided by i into b. So i it is eleven point six four eleven point six four eight into ten to the power six into b it is hundred mm. B it is hundred mm. So we get q one by this formula. So forty into ten to the power three, ten to the power three into hundred thousand into seventy divided by eleven point six four eight into ten to the power six into hundred. It will be two point four zero. The one it is two point four zero mpa. That is in newton per mm square. Six point four zero. I will note down the one value it is. One is equal to two point four zero mp. 
now calculate Q2. Okay. So for Q2, we are calculating right on shear stress, shear stress at junction between shear stress at junction, at junction between 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 plane and wave plane and plane and wave wave by considering by considering by considering width width b is equal to b is equal to 10 m okay. so we use same equation here only we are taking 10 instead of 100 okay here b is equal to input 10 Q2 is equal to M2 is equal to 2.40 2.40 into 200 will be removed from the equation 100 divided by 10 100 divided by 10 100 divided by 10 okay. is equal to will be 2.40 into 10 it will be 24 MP 24 MP 24.038 MP. You can write down it is 24 MP. So Q2 it is 24 MP. 24 MP. Okay. Now calculate Q additional. Q additional. Q additional is equal to. Q additional is equal to. Write down equation as yes into A into Y bar. Y bar. So here, EN value, EN, Y and B, it will be difference for them. Okay. I into B. I into B. Okay. Here, we, we consider just here. We put here. So this area we consider. Okay. This X portion. Website. That is your website. Okay. This website. Okay. So here depth it is we know that depth of this section it is x portion it is 65 so this one it is depth it is 65 mm so this it is 65 mm okay the so area for that area is equal to 65 into 10 65 into 10 that is 650 mm square 650 mm square 650 mm square 650 mm square. 650 mm square. Okay. Then y bar it is. Y bar is equal to. It is measured from the neutral axis. So 65 divided by 2. It is 65 divided by 2. Okay. 65 divided by 2. How much it is? 65 divided by 2. It is 32.5. Y bar it is 32.5 mm. Okay. So put all these values here. Is equal to yes, it is 14 to 10 to 4 p. 14 to 10 to 4 p. 10 to 4 p. Area it is 650, 650, and the y bar it is 32.5, 32.5 divided by i into b. So i it is how much? Movement of inertia it is. 11.648, 11.648 into 10 to the power 6 into B it is 10 m. Here B it will be 10 m. Okay. We'll put D is equal to also 10 m. This one it is Q additional. 40 into 10 to the power 3 into 650 into 32.5 divided by 11.648 into 10 to the power 6 into 10. It will be 7.25. The additional is 7.25 mp. It is newton per mm. Okay. Yes. So here now, Q max. Calculate Q max. Q additional I will note down. Q additional it is 7.25 mp. So now, Q max is equal to Q max is equal to Q max is equal to Q two plus Q two plus 